Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This tutorial is gonna be on something very special. This is the book that I purchased when I was 24 years old in 1997. I probably tried every single look in this book. One of my favorite looks is the where Kevin created on Julia Roberts. And on this side, it's all the step by step. I'm gonna try my best to follow his steps. The, the only thing is the sponge applicator I no longer use. I think this look was very easy to create. If you guys wanna stick around to see how I create this look, just keep on watching. So in the first step, he uses concealer and then he sets it with a powder. I'm gonna use Tarte Shape Tape in light medium. I'm gonna apply all over my eyelids. I'm gonna use Zoeva Concealer Buffer 142 brush and I'm gonna buff out the concealer onto my eyelids. Now to set my concealer with the powder, I will be using Colorless Hydra Care Powder by Tear. And I will be using a Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35 brush. And I'm gonna apply all over my eyelid. The next step, he says, apply black eyeliner pencil to upper and lower inner eye area. Smudge pencil gently into eyelashes. So I will be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Dark Side Waterproof Gel Liner. And I'm gonna apply on my upper lashes and my lower lashes. And it says to smudge it in, so I'm not gonna be very accurate with it. So I am smudging it. I'm not just applying on my waterline, I'm applying under my eyelashes as well. It doesn't have to be neat at this point. Next, he says using a sponge tip applicator or a shadow brush, blend pencil into a smoky circle around the eye. So basically what we're gonna do, we're just gonna blend the eyeliner around the eye area. And for that, I will be using Smashbox Multitasking Detail Brush. And I'm just gonna blend the eyeliner Before I'm gonna continue with the eyeshadows, I'm gonna just take the loose powder and I'm gonna apply under my eyes so it's gonna catch all the fallouts. Now I'm gonna go into Tarte Clay Palette and I'm gonna use on the same brush and I'm gonna go into Onyx. What I like about this brush, it has really cool shape to it. It has like a flat edges, so it makes it very easy to apply eyeshadows and it helps to get a very nice precise application. So I'm gonna go into Onyx, I'm gonna tap off the axis and I'm gonna place just in the area where we apply the eyeliner. just gonna take the Sigma Medium Sweeper E54 brush and I'm just gonna lightly blend part of my lash line. So next he says to apply the black eyeshadow on the outer corner. So we're gonna create this V shape and I'm gonna be using Sigma Blending E25 brush. I'm gonna take a small amount and I'm gonna start blending into my crease. And I'm gonna try to connect the bottom smoked out line together with my crease area. So he's basically saying to concentrate the shadow on the outer half of the eye. Then I'm gonna go to Tapered Blending E40 brush by Sigma and I'm just gonna blend. And by setting our concealer with the powder, it makes it much easier to blend the eyeshadows. The next step, he says to use a beige powder eyeshadow to highlight brow bone and eyelid. I'm gonna go use Sigma Dome Utility E34 brush and I'm gonna go into this shade right here, it's Instinct. And I'm gonna apply this on my inner corner and my eyebrow bone. As well, he says to bring it down the bridge of the nose and under the eye. I'm gonna go back to a blending brush and I'm gonna blend these two shades together. Now I feel like I lost a little bit of the darkness, so I'm gonna go back to Onyx with the blending brush and I'm just gonna make it a little bit darker. And I also uh, brought this color a little bit towards my inner corner because I see on the picture Julia has a little bit more deeper set eyes than me. So I just wanted to create that uh, the same effect. So I just brought this eyeshadow a little bit towards my inner corner. Now I'm just gonna clean the loose powder from under my eyes. And this is just cleans up everything. Now I'm gonna curl my eyelashes and I'm gonna apply mascara. The mascara I'll be using is the Eyeco Lash Alert Mascara. And the lashes I will be using is this Ona Lashes in 
401. I'm gonna do my mascara and eyelashes and I will be right back. Uh, the only thing is left to do, lipstick. He didn't outline her lips with a pencil. I have to because my lips doesn't have really defined shape. So I'm gonna outline my lips first with MAC Honey Pecan Lip Intensity Lip Pencil. And I'm gonna outline my lips first. The lipstick we'll be using is the MAC strip and I'm gonna apply all over my lips. And I'm just gonna take the lip brush by Smashbox and I'm just gonna blend the lip liner into the lipstick. Now the skin is very matte. I don't believe that in late 90s when he wrote this book the highlight was as popular as these days. So it's gonna be really weird but I'm gonna leave my face matte. Or I found funny that he was using a sponge applicator which is I have probably haven't used the sponge applicator in over 10 years. I think the makeup industry came a long way. I really wish he was here to experience it. I hope I made him proud by recreating one of his looks. I think this is should be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. List of all the products I used for today's video will be linked down below for you guys easily to find them. Please give me a thumbs up if you guys like this video. Comment if there's any other looks you would like to see. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll I'll see you next time. Bye.